Good morning, everyone. I, uh, I got up early this morning and I decided I was also going to uh, reconfigure this Growatt uh, 11 kilowatt ATS auto transformer um, to use the components it ships with for the most part. So to be able to put this neutral protection in, um, what you'll need is a momentary switch, the voltage protector, and I also put a fuse in just because it's it's handy to have a fuse in. And I did change the wire size that it shipped with. Um, and I just want to make sure that nothing in here gets overloaded and you know catches fire or something stupid. So let's go over this design really quickly. Uh, for the most part, you're going to be able to use the defaults. You're going to be able to use uh, what the unit ships with. I put a different breaker in here. Uh, I have a couple of different reasons for why I put a different breaker in here, but I did put a different breaker in here. Um, this is the default AVB contactor. Um, I'll get in here close, hopefully you can see. It is rated for 63 amps, but only on these two poles. Uh, one quick note about these AVB contactors is um, only the two center poles uh, are switched on and off. These guys here, this here to here, and this here to here are always on. They are a pass-through. Um, and it says it right here on the diagram on the front of it. I mean, I guess just didn't notice that initially. So anyways, let's go over this real quickly. So what's going to happen is we got our 240 volts that come in down here to these two poles. Uh, they come out, they come across. Uh, and this is just like the factory setup. There's not much different going on here. All we've really done is interrupted the A1 side of this contactor and instead of um, it just coming directly up, you think it used to came come from right here to up here, instead what we've done is we've put this voltage protection circuit in the loop. Uh, we pull a um, some current off the neutral leg, we run that over into the neutral side of the voltage protector. We also are looking at this leg here um, and this leg here is coming into the hot side of that um, voltage protection relay. So it comes out, uh, and remember, these voltage protection relays only switch from here to here. This leg here is a pass-through. Um, it's always connected. So um, as the voltage protection relay turns on, um, it will connect this to this, which comes out of here, heads through a fuse. This is only a one amp fuse and uh, it comes up and comes into the A1 side of the contactor. So right now, you see the grow watts turned on and we can't, it's not actually operational um, and that's the purpose of the momentary switch. And what the momentary switch does is it pulls out the other leg and skips this um, voltage protection relay to initialize the system. And this gets you the same result as the video I posted yesterday with using the shunt trip breaker. Some people don't want to run a contactor 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because it does draw some current. Um, it's not a zero current like the uh, shunt base system I showed you guys yesterday, uh, but it is, a, it is a very small amount of current. So if you're super conscious about uh, uh, wasted energy or uh, uh, ghost energy, this is probably not the setup for you. But if you want to just kind of put some neutral protections in and use what the unit ships with, then this probably is for you. Um, I'll talk for a second about that breaker this ships with. This ships with a Chint 80 amp breaker. Um, I honestly think that's probably oversized for uh, this transformer. This is only a five kilowatt transformer. I mean, granted it can go up to some burst loads. Um, but breakers also allow for burst loads, depending on the, uh, the curve the, of breaker that you get, you, uh, you also be able to burst past um, their rated amperage for some period of time, not very long, but anyways. So I put a 50 amp breaker in here because uh, I feel like that's appropriate. And also, uh, breakers protect wires. Um, they, if you have an 80 amp breaker in here, and then you need to make sure the wiring that you bring in uh, is rated to run at 80 amps. So, anyways, back to uh, back to the voltage protection circuit. So, we got the momentary switch in here, um, which will bypass this, activate the contactor, allow the whole system to turn on, and then you can release the momentary switch. 
and uh, it will stay connected. So let's go ahead and do that. So I push the button down here. See that it turns on. As soon as the uh, second red light comes on, I can release that button down there and see it, uh, it holds itself closed. Now, if there was a neutral fault, um, the whole thing would shut down. And what's gonna happen here, what's a little bit different here is it's gonna kill the input side of the contactor. So that way no current can make it through um, and out to here. So you don't, the only thing you have to really worry about is, is just pushing this button if you want to leave this case closed or you know you just want the most simple setup humanly possible this is it this is the most simple um circuit i can come up with that's easy for other people to do with readily available parts um, the only thing that's not on here is i can't really turn off the input to this um, using what's in the box um, so you'll have to use like an external breaker or something like that if you want to put it in between uh, the grow rod in here. So that's all I've got for you. Uh, I hope everybody has a great day. I got to get off to work. So uh, we'll talk to you next time.